want to bring in now uh, Fox News terrorism analyst Waleed Ferez and also retired Green Beret Michael Waltz, who served as a senior counterterrorism advisor to former Vice President Dick Cheney. Gentlemen, good evening to both of you. Thank you. Uh, Michael, what is striking to me is how similar this attack was to things that we have seen in the past, like Nice, France, which was right. so horrific last summer. A van driving down a sidewalk, a busy pedestrian area, and swerving with the vehicle, trying to hit as many people as possible. Well, the terrorists have found, you know, essentially the perfect weapon that requires no training, you know, a vehicle. Uh, but, you know, I think there's a bigger point here in the sense that, you know, Western society, Europe, the United States can't play perfect defense. You know, we can't stop all vehicles and we can't stop all crowds. And what we have to do is maintain our offensive posture. We have to stay focused on these sanctuaries. This is why the strategy to stabilize Syria, to finish off ISIS as a state is so important. And it's why the broader strategy, I mean, look, Bill, we are at war in a global war against Islamic extremism. They are in a war with us. We're seeing those fighters now flow from Syria and Iraq back into Afghanistan and Pakistan, where 20 of the 40 uh, of the world's 40 acknowledged terrorist organizations exist. That's why we have to maintain engaged there. Uh, and I know it's frustrating that we've been at this for so long, but we are in a generational effort against Islamic yeah. extremism, and we have to stay engaged and on offense. To Waleed Farah's on that same point then. ISIS has made a claim. What are we to understand tonight? Well, first of all, Bill, uh, we will learn more from Spanish, European, American authorities on the actual attack by itself. We are just in the beginning of these inquiries. But what is more important, as your guest has mentioned, is that there are not one, but maybe two important lessons. Number one, they, i.e. the jihadists, ISIS or not, have discovered a weapon that is very difficult to overcome. So we need to focus on that new era. Number two is that now most of the jihadists we are encountering in Europe and potentially in the United States are Western based. So yes, we need to finish the job in Syria and Iraq, but we need to also have a strategy here in, 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 in Europe and in America. Uh, Michael, you know, think about Spain has been relatively quiet with regard to terrorism. Uh, the train yep. attack of 2004 certainly was a, a horrendous event that killed 192 people in the Madrid uh, train attacks. But it has been left out of the conversation, one could argue, up until today. Well, it has in a sense, but on the other hand, I mean, Spain has a long history with the ETA terrorists, the homegrown Basque terrorists that they've dealt with for many decades. I think there's a lesson that can be, um, you know, taken from that. I mean, there's a reason, Bill. You know, Europe has been dealing with terrorism for many decades. Most of them were communist expire, uh, inspired. You know, Shining Path in Peru, the, the Red Brigades in Italy. And there's a reason that they are no longer conducting attacks. And that's because the ideology of communism has been defeated. And we need a longer term strategy to defeat the ideology of Islamic extremism, whether that's girls' education, women's empowerment, economic initiatives. We have to take this on holistically while at the same time attacking the current radicalized leadership so those are offensively. Very so, strong I mean, points to be made. Yeah, just to Waleed quickly here. Yeah. The driver apparently, based on what we think we know, got away. That would seem to indicate the driver wanted to live. True or not? And very, how does that change things? Look, very possible. I mean, in many of these jihadi operations, some of them are suicidal and others are to be repeated. So we'll wait and see from the Spanish authorities if it's not just one person, it could be more than one person, the logistical unit that is supporting them, who's radicalizing them. So still work to be done ahead of us. Gentlemen, thanks to both of you tonight. Walid Ferez, Michael Waltz.